going to do a little demonstration of cream blush with the 130 and I'm going to be using a Stila convertible color in a color called Camellia it's number one so I guess they have numbers too and this is a lip and cheek cream so you have you you know it's a multi-purpose product but I mostly use it as a blush and see it's like a nice warm bronzy color and I just stamp it into the cream blush and you can just I like to touch it on the back of my hand first just so that you know I don't get too much on at once and I'll start on this side and I'm looking in the mirror now so I just stamp it and I try to get it just on the apples of the cheek but I usually end up bringing it all the way back here and that's, you know, people say, oh, you shouldn't bring it all the way back here because that's the 80s way of doing it and you look really dated, but it's just, I'm blending and blending and by the time I know it, I'm all the way back here. But I'll try. All right. Um, I have an oval shaped face and if you have an oval shaped face, you should just keep it on the apples. I don't remember. <laughs> how you should apply depending on other face shapes. I know that if you have a squared shape face, you know, square jawline, you should do like a stripe like that. Straight across, but you know, I usually, I don't really do a lot of other people's makeup, so I just learned what I what was good for me, which is not really good, but yeah. So I'm going to go on the other side. I hope you guys can see it. So I just stamp it and swirl. Ooh, that one came out darker, but you know, stamp it and then move it in circular motions and blend. So I'm just going to try to fade that out. And you can really get a really sculpted cheek with this because the application will be so precise that you can really define your cheeks. So, before this, I use my fingertips or I would use a foundation brush, and those are all effective ways of doing it, but this way. I prefer it because it's so precise and I can really blend it in a way that I couldn't blend it before with those other methods. And I'm really buffing it into the skin so it's going to last longer than just putting it on top of the skin. This I'm really working it in there. And I mean it really doesn't take as long as I'm taking to do it, it's just that I'm applying more so that it can show up on the camera but one layer should be fine and yeah that's it so it's really easy to apply cream blush I've gotten requests in the past you know asking me you know could I please do a video on this and it's really very simple and I really like cream blushes because um, they just give your skin a really nice glow because it reflects the light because it's a creamy product. Now, um, if you wanted to, you could go ahead and layer another regular blush on top of the cream blush and that would really lock it in and make it last all day because the cream just grabs that powder and you'll have that look for the whole day. So that's what I really love about layering and using cream blushes. Alright guys, so uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you have any questions, please let me know in a comment below. I will see you next time. Bye!